In this playlist, we have been doing a detailed study of Adi Shankaracharya's Nirvana Shatakam. So far, we have seen how Shankara dissociates true identity of one's self from one's own mind, body, emotions, and experiences. In this video, we will look at the fifth shloka of Nirvana Shatakam along with how to pronounce the words in it and their meanings. The Sanskrit channel now has a Patreon page. If you wish to support this effort in exploring a vast variety of diverse Sanskrit literature, consider becoming a sponsor starting at just a dollar. There are also special benefits you could access by becoming a sponsor. If you wish to, you could also make a one-time contribution to help the production of these videos. Check out all the links in the description below. I will now chant the shloka very slowly with emphasis on the pronunciation of each word. If you find it difficult to pronounce any of these words, feel free to rewind the video and listen again. Na me mrityu shanka na me jati bheda pita naiva me naiva mata na janma na bandhur na mitram gurur naiva shishya Chidanandarupa Shivoham Shivoham This shloka talks about the false identification of the self with various relationships we have from birth unto death. Na me means not in me. Mrityu Shanka is any doubt regarding death. Here, Shankara says, I do not have any doubts regarding the nature of death and therefore I do not make any discriminations based on birth either. This is the meaning of Nami Jati Bhedaha. In order to understand the next few words, we need to set the context in which the word I is being mentioned by Shankaracharya. Some of you had doubts in the last videos with the line Na Dharmo Na Chartho Na Kamo Na Mokshaha, as in, how can we not strive towards moksha also? Is it true that we are already free? In my understanding, the right way to look at it would be what is it that we mean when we say I? If it is the thought process, the body, emotion or experience, then no, we are not free. But once the identity shifts to true nature of the self, mentioned by Chidananda Rupaha Shivoham Shivoham, then that boundless and formless nature of course has no need for moksha. I hope this distinction is clear. In the next few words, Shankara also says, Pita naiva me naiva mata na janmaha, which means, this I does not even have a father or a mother. In fact, it does not even have birth or death. Na bandhur na mitram gurur naiva shishyaha. This I does not have a relative or a friend or a guru or a disciple. The underlying consciousness, which is the true nature of the self, since it is boundless and infinite, is beyond these dualities. In the fourth line, he sums it all up, saying, Chidananda Rupaha Shivoham Shivoham which means my true identity is the eternally blissful form of Shiva. I hope you enjoyed learning this stanza. In the next video, let's look at the sixth stanza of Nirvana Shatakam which sums up the meanings of all the shlokas that we have been learning so far. Do visit our Patreon page if you wish to sponsor the production of more videos like these and also access special patron benefits. If you wish to, there are also options of making a one-time contribution in the description box below. Consider subscribing to the Sanskrit channel where we explore hidden gems in the vast world of diverse Sanskrit literature. See you in the next video. Namaskaram.